Welcome students. Today we will draw isometric view of pentagonal pyramid of height 50 mm and base 25 mm. So first of all we have to draw the base of the pentagonal pyramid which is a pentagon. It means the very first step is we should construct pentagon on the grid sheet and size of the pentagon is 25 mm. So let us see what steps we need in order to draw pentagon of side 25 mm. So first of all we will line our scale with this row and we will construct a thick horizontal line of 25 millimeters that is the side of the pentagon. So draw a thick horizontal line of 25 millimeters. After that we will put protector at this end of the line and we will draw angle of 72 degrees from this side that is the exterior angle of the pentagon. So from 0 measure 72 degrees that will be over here. So mark a point. The same step we will do on the other side. So at this end place the protector. line protector carefully. Now from this side of the protector measure 72 degrees that is the exterior angle of the pentagon and mark a point. Then after that we will align our scale with this point and that point marked by us. Align it carefully and we will draw a line of 25 millimeters which is the side of the pentagon. Same step we will do on the other side. So line your scale with this point and that point marked by us. Align your scale carefully. and draw a thick line of 25 millimeters which is the side of the pentagon. Then after that we will open compass to the side of the pentagon which is 25 millimeters and we will place compass at this point and we will draw a thin curve. Now place compass at this point with same radius that is the side of the pentagon 25 millimeters and draw another thin curve which will intersect the first curve and will get an intersection. Then after that align these two points with the help of scale and draw thick line that is the fourth side of the pentagon. Then align these two points to complete the pentagon and draw a thick line over here. So we are ready with the pentagon. So first step is draw the pentagon. After that we will enclose this pentagon inside a box. So for that align your scale with the base of the pentagon and draw continuous thin lines on both sides. Then align your scale with this corner of the pentagon and scale should be in vertical position. So align your scale carefully in vertical position and place your scale at this corner of the pentagon and draw a thin vertical line. Do the same step on other side. Place your scale at this corner of the pentagon. And again align your scale in vertical position. Scale must be vertical and draw another thin vertical line at this point. Then after that place your scale at this corner of the pentagon in horizontal position. Align your scale carefully in horizontal position and draw thin horizontal line at this corner. And after that we will erase these extensions carefully.
and you can see we have enclosed the pentagon inside the box now we will name the pentagon first so let us label it as a b c b e after that we will label the box so let us label it as 1 2 3 4 now we will draw isometric of this box first so for that what we need to do we will align our scale with this row and we will draw a continuous thin line of around 30 millimeters on that line mark a point and place your protector at that point and align your protector with that horizontal line drawn by us and draw and mark 30 degree on both sides so from 0 mark 30 degree over here then from other side from 0 measure 30 and mark a point then after that we will align our scale with this point and that point and we will draw a continuous thin line so this is the first isometric axis keep it thin then align your scale with this point and that point and draw another continuous thin line that will be the second isometric axis at the start draw any length now consider this point as the left bottom corner of this box means point number one so label it as one now what we will do we will cut this isometric axis to this length one two so let us measure this length with the help of compass and from this point point one cut this axis to that length draw a thin curve so this is point two after that we will cut this height 1 4 on this isometric axis so measure 1 4 with the help of compass place your compass at this point and cut this axis to that length that is 1 4 draw a thin curve so this point is 4 after that we need this length 1 4 over here so for that we will measure this length with the help of compass that is 1 4 and we'll mark from point number 2 and draw a thin curve over here then in front of this length that is 1 4 we need a line from this point so measure 1, 2 now with the help of compass, measure it carefully and place your compass at 4 and draw a thin arc which will cut the previous arc drawn by us. So this will be point number 3. Then we will join 2, 3 with the help of continuous thin line. then we will join 3 4 with continuous thin line so in this manner we will draw isometric of this box 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 now we will erase these extensions and in this isometric of the box we will draw isometric of this pentagon which will be the base of pentagonal prism now for that we have to locate these five points a b c d e let us first locate these two points 
सो पॉइंट ए इज ऑन साइड वन टू सो मेजर दिस डिस्टेंस वन ए विद द हेल्प ऑफ कंपस मेजर इट केयरफुली वन ए प्लेस योर कंपस एट वन एंड कट दिस साइड वन टू विद दैट डिस्टेंस विद अ थिन आर्क सो दिस पॉइंट इज ए एंड इफ यू विल सी केयरफुली यू विल फाइंड दिस डिस्टेंस टू बी विल बी इक्वल टू वन ए ओनली सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू मार्क पॉइंट बी बिटवीन वन टू सो मेजर टू बी विच विल बी सेम एज डेट ऑफ वन ए एंड पुट योर कंबर्स एट पॉइंट टू एंड कट डेट साइड टू वन विद अ थिन कर्व Now this point is point B. Now after that we will locate point C, which is in between two and three. Means on this side two three. So on this side two three. So put your compass at two. Measure two C with the help of compass. Place your compass at two. And cut this length two three with a thin curve. so this is point c remember we have to measure distances always from the corners of the box don't measure b to c always measure from corners that is 2 to c similarly we will locate point d which is in between 3 4 that is on side 3 4 on side 3 4 so for that we have to measure 3d with the help of compass Place your compass at three, and cut this length three four with the help of thin curve. So this point is point number D. Then after that, we will locate E on side one four one four. So measure one E, and cut that length on one four. Place at one. Mark point three. This is point E. And one more point to observe that when we measure distance from one, we should mark from one only. It should not be like that you have measured from one, but you have marked from four over here. So that will give you wrong results. After that, we will connect these points with thin lines. at the start continuous thin lines so why we have drawn these thin lines because at the start we don't know which edge will be hidden behind the front faces of the pyramid so at the start we will draw all the edges thin so we are ready with the isometric of the base of the pyramid which is isometric of pentagon now after this we will locate the center of the pentagon so how we will locate the center we will place our scale at this corner and we will draw a line from this corner which will be perpendicular to the opposite side so how we will achieve this we will use a longer marking on the scale any marking this long marking place this marking on this side so if you will do this your scale will be at 90 degrees to this length and align your scale to this corner so i am going to place this long marking on this side see and i have aligned my scale with this corner so my scale is at 90 degrees to this horizontal line so from that corner draw a thin line 
which will be at 90 degrees to the opposite side. Same step we will do from any other side of the pentagon. Let us choose this side. So I will place this long marking on this side and I will align my scale with this corner. So scale is at 90 degrees to this side and scale is at this corner. So from this corner we are dropping a perpendicular onto the opposite side. So where these two lines will intersect that is the center of the pentagon. After that we will measure this distance. For that place your compass at this point and measure this distance and cut that distance from 1 on 1 4 length and from 2 on 2 3 length. Then we will align our scale with these two points and we will draw a continuous thin line over here. Then after that we will measure this distance 3D which is the mid of 3 4 and we will mark that distance on this line 1 2 place your scale at 2 and mark that distance over here. And we will connect these two points with another continuous thin line. So it means what we have done, we have drawn two center lines and where these two will intersect that will give us the center of the pentagon. Now from this center we will draw the axis of the pentagonal pyramid that is equal to the height given in the quotient that is 50 millimeters. So place your scale on this center and align your scale in vertical position and draw a thin line, continuous thin line of 50 millimeters. Now this is apex of the pyramid. Now join these corners of the pentagon to apex with continuous thin lines first. Now after this we will make visible edges thick. Now you can see from front these two edges and this edge are visible. So let us make these thick. This edge is also visible from front. This edge is also visible from front. Let us make it thick. Now from front, these four edges will be visible. First, second, third, fourth. So make these also thick. Now make these two edges also thick. Now we are ready with the isometric 
view of the pentagonal pyramid now after this what we will do we will place isometric dimensions so first of all we will place its base length that is 25 mm so out of these three visible base edges of the pyramid this is isometric edge so we will place length for this edge only so what we will do we will line our scale with this isometric axis and if you have a roller scale then roll your scale to that point so that we should draw isometric extension line similarly roll your scale to the next point that is b and draw another isometric extension line then use your roller scale place your roller scale over here that is aligned with this isometric axis and roll back by 15 millimeters and draw isometric dimension line add closed field arrowheads on both sides and we will place dimension over here as 25 mm after that we will place height of the pyramid so for that what we will do we will line our scale with this center line which is isometric line and we will leave one millimeter gap over here and we will draw a continuous thin extension line which will be isometric extension line because it will be parallel to the isometric axis then reuse your roller scale align your roller scale with this isometric line and roll carefully to apex so that your scale should be parallel to this isometric axis then from apex draw a continuous thin line which will be another extension line and this is also isometric extension line because we have drawn it parallel to this isometric axis then between these two extension lines we will draw a vertical line as dimension line let me extend this further so between these two extension lines we have drawn vertical dimension line which is parallel to the third isometric axis which is vertical and we will add closed field arrowheads on both ends of this line in 3 ratio 1 and over here we will mention its height which is 50 mm and we will erase the extra extension line So we have placed both the dimensions now we will place angle so for that let us extend this horizontal line on both sides over here draw a thin curved line dimension line add closed field arrowheads on both sides and over here we will write 30 degrees now this side also draw a thin dimension line add closed field arrowheads on both sides and in gothic style we will write 30 degrees so this is the final answer of isometric view of pentagonal pyramid so i hope this answer is clear to you thank you very much